This is Code.org. I'm currently working on AP Computer Science Principles. Let's see what we're doing. The full Turtle API. We've added a few more commands to the toolbox. At this point, you have access to every Turtle command provided by AppLab. Woohoo! As you've already seen with our exploration of functions, you can combine these commands to create more complex functionality. But at the lowest level, all of your code will be making use of the same set of commands provided by AppLab. Code you will write will always be based upon commands that you were provided by the programming language you are using. When several commands are provided in a logical chunk, like the set of turtle commands, we refer to them collectively as a library. So all of this code is what, what you call it is a library. It's a library of code. The turtles, the older, <laughs> the total set of commands that a language provides access to is called the application program interface or API. As you gain more experience, which we will, you will gain familiarity with API for the language you are using, but you will still want to return to the API documentation from time to time to remind yourself of what functionality a language offers. Congratulations. You've come a long way as a turtle artist. Well, thank you. Draw whatever you like. The only three requirements are use three different colors and use move to. Oh my goodness. If in doubt, try to recreate the iHeartCS image shown above. Oh, well that sounds like what I'll do. Okay. So we can draw whatever we want. Hmm. Well, let me scroll through. Move to, move to, yep. And they gave us functions. All right. So if we were going to recreate the I love CS, what could we do? Well, first, let's make our background green. And since we don't have a background button, remember they showed us that we could just use dot. So we'll start there. I'm going to make my pin color. Find it. Pin color. Let's do, nah, not red. I want a light green that looks like to me and then a dot and for the dot radius i'm not really sure let's do something large uh 700 and the great thing about code we can run it and yep that covers the screen 700 is good so far well so good so now they have this line for the eye and that looks maybe violet maybe pink so i'm gonna say again i'm gonna go to and if i want blocks that might be easier to read I'm going to go to pin color, drop it, and now what do I want for a pin color? Well, I'm going to want, what did I just say, purple or violet? Do they have? Nope. They didn't give us options. All right. I'm going to go purple. We'll see how that looks. Now, where do I want it to draw? Well, what's that location? Hmm. So I'm going to say that's roughly maybe X is 160. And y is 60. Let's try that. So let's move the pen to. We were thinking 160x and 60y maybe. And then let's say pen down. Um, I believe we're going to want to take the pen up here and then put it down there. And then what? Well, once we put it down, we're going to want to move our pin to 160x will be the same, but maybe 130y. Let's try. Let's see what this does. And the nice thing about code, you can always be wrong. Let's see if I mess something up. Well, that looks all right, but it doesn't look thick enough. It doesn't look wide enough. So we can fix that with pin width. Okay, so pen width is, I don't know, let's try eight. And that's looking better. Okay, so I'm liking that. You might want to raise yours up a bit. So maybe instead of 160, I do 150. Oops, that's X. X should be, since the screen is 320, the middle is 160. Okay, but maybe Y should be 50 to 120. And that's looking good to me. Okay. And now what am I going to do? And to jump down to the C, since I do have this purple, where am I at here? Well, reset, maybe 
90 by 315, I'll say, roughly maybe, or 90 by, let's do 100 by 315. So what do I want to do? I want pin up. I want to go to move to 100 by 315. And code, you can always be wrong. So 100 by 315, we're just trying this out. And then what do I want to do? Well, it seems like to me I would want to make a, let's try a left arc. 90 degrees? Mm, sure. Okay. But how much of a radius? Let's try 180. And again, this is probably wrong. I can be wrong a lot. Let's run it. Let's see. Whoops, that didn't make anything. Why not? I never put my pin down. I said pin up move. Okay. Let's put my pen back down. Oh, wow, I'm way off. Oh, no, but it's code. And that's what's so nice about this, okay? So maybe we need to do 180 here. And you can mess around if you're not sure. I'm just going to try a billion things. Nope, but we're getting there, right? So 180, let's try 270. Whoa, well, that's a nice good arc. But am I, am I going the right way? Is it too large? Do I need a right arc? Okay, so now we're getting to the point where, okay, this is looking like a C. Maybe I don't need that. Maybe I need 220 instead of 270. And notice, my C is still not in the right spot. We are not worried. We're just messing with the numbers till it looks right. Till we got this radius all right. Till we got the angle okay. And you can try all sorts of things. Okay. Now, let me start to turn this. So I'm going to say turn two before drawing it. And let's turn to again, you can just mess around. Let's do 180. Where's that going to take us? Well, well, that's not what I wanted. 90. So let's try the 90 degree turn. Oh, that's not either. Okay, so if it's not 180, and it's not 90, let's try 270. That's getting there. This is the great, great thing about code, you can do all sorts of stuff and just hit run and test it and if it breaks it doesn't matter you get to test things out in programming okay awesome that's looking better to me i might move this over a bit so maybe i'll do 115 for my x great and now i'm going to jump up to do my s my s is going to go right here wherever that is 115 165 by I'll line it up with 315. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do move to and move to what 165 and I'm going to line it up with 315. Make sure that you pin up right here, pin down right here after you move. And then how am I going to create this S? Well, the first part's pretty similar to my C, honestly. So I could start with something like that. Let's see. Let's see. Ha -ha. But notice how mine's facing right now. Okay, so I'm going to want to go maybe 10 more forward. And I'm just going to do exactly what I just did with the letter C. I need an arc and they're tricky. So let's try to put in this stuff. And let's just make it all smaller. I think 180 will be the same. I think it's going to be 25. I'm probably wrong on everything. Oh, nope. See, that's looking all right. Well, what happens if I do make this 50? Oh, that's clearly not. So I was good with 20. Okay. And what happens if I do make this what, what, whatever, uh, 200? You get to experiment. And so please do so until you like what you have. I'm going to stick with 180 there. That was looking all right to me. Yep, that looks all right to me. I'm going to now do this in reverse. So arc right and arc right. Let's try what, what happens if I do arc right 180, 20. Boom. All right. And you can make this S a little bit better. You can shape it. You can mess with these numbers. But you get the general idea. I am going to move mine over from 115 now. To 125 maybe and i'll add 10 more to this at so 185 let's see where that puts us perfect now all i need is the heart here okay wow that heart is complicated so let's do pin up let's do color 
going to switch up our color to red. Let's jump to right about here. Let me reset. That's 150x, 180y. Okay. And then let's start by doing another arc. Let's do arc left first. And let's do 90, 25. Oh, I never put my pin down. Pin up. I'm going to put my pin down after I move. I'm going to shrink this. Let me switch to text real quick. Just so I can create some lines. Okay, so that's the top of a heart maybe, but it's not quite in the right spot. So what do I do? I'm going to start to play around with this. Let's do... Turn, because I want my heart to start here. So let's turn 45 degrees. And actually, I bet I'm going to need to go back. Let's try turning negative 45. That's getting there. Okay. And then 90, let's add, I don't know, 110 and 35. Okay. That's looking all right to me. Maybe I want to go down some 30. Yeah. All right. And then... 125 maybe. Okay, we're getting there. And then what do I want to do? Well, I probably want to move to. We set, we just want to move down some maybe to 160x and 260y. Boom. And now what? Well, now I'm going to want to turn to the left. How much? About 45 degrees. Then what? Well, I'm going to move. Where to? Hmm. So I was over here at about 100, 200. So let's try 200, 200. And you're just, I'm just guesstimating. And seeing how it looks. Okay, I'm okay with that. Maybe I need to decrease this. Maybe I went too far on the Y or too far on the X. So let's do 190, 190. Oh, and maybe I was wanting to go up. And this is the great thing. Code, you can be wrong all the time. All right, I'm liking that much more. So now I want to turn left by 45 most likely. And then I want to do another arc, except this time I want to do a right arc. And it might not be identical, but let's see, 175 by 30. What's that going to do? Up oh, and see, it was backwards. So if it's doing that to us, let's try a left arc. And we're getting there. So maybe, what if we turn 55? What if we turn 65? And this is really tricky to get exact, right? Because we're drawing with a computer. What if we turn 75? I wonder what that looks like. And then... Hide. And I won't tell you for a minute that's exactly this, but it is, right? You might want yours more exact. You might want yours technical more technical. But the great thing about code is you get to make it your own. Please experiment. Please mess it up. Please don't be scared to break it and try out different numbers. Okay. Here's what was working for me. And you might be like, oh my gosh, that looks like so much code. Good. Find a better way than I did. Use functions. Okay. But this is what was working for me. If I zoom out, I can probably get it all in. Give it a shot. Make it your own. Make something super cool. And you should post a link. You should post a screenshot below. And if this was helpful, if you're still watching this, hit like, hit subscribe. It gives me warm, fuzzy, makes the world a better place, all that stuff.